Welcome to Trade Up, where we discuss the latest media trends in our industry. I'm Salmia. And I'm Crystal. The Internet of Things, or IoT, has been a buzzword in 2017, and it refers to how all our connected devices are communicating with each other. A big part of IoT is entrusting robots to make purchasing decisions for us. Crystal, which product categories will purchasing robots impact first? I think it'll probably impact the categories like washing machines mm -hmm. or dishwashers. I think it's kind of the products that we use in our everyday lives, but we don't put a lot of thought into. Like, right. I'm not loyal to one dishwasher brand. Mm -hmm. so. so, like, you wouldn't trust them to buy your car necessarily or even clothes, but maybe, like, two-ply toilet paper? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I think, I think the things that we kind of put more thought into, right. we would kind of be skeptical mm -hmm. using machines for at first, but I think right. in the future, once we kind of become more comfortable with the fact that they might be picking out our dishwasher, right. um, it'll probably become more normal. I think another thing is that it's stuff you also have a really like deep connection to. Like I think you mentioned earlier in our conversations, Oreo. Um, you have a deep personal connection to the brand. You wouldn't necessarily want a machine to pick any chocolate for you, right? I mean, any chocolate cookie for you, you'd want Oreo, and yeah. the machine wouldn't know that. <laughs> I think that brands are definitely going to be disrupted mm -hmm. by kind of technology in the future. I mm -hmm. think the brands that will be successful mm -hmm. are the ones that do have that emotional tie. So for me, it's Oreo. I love Oreo. Right. Grew up with Oreo. <laughs> if the machine told me to eat some knockoff brand of Oreos, I'd be offended. <laughs> <You're> but <right. laughs> I think um, that machines will kind of evolve and kind of be able to tell my preferences, so they won't send me a box of something that I don't want. They'll know I like Oreo. So I think uh, initially, I think the brands that are going to kind of struggle might be the ones like dishwasher soap. Like, I don't really care what soap I use. Right. Speaking of like dishwasher soap or, you know, um, cleaning detergent products, <laughs> um, Tide came up with the Tide button, and that's how they're sort of getting themselves at the forefront um, with the Amazon Dash button. Wh what are some other ways that brands can sort of stand out in this IoT world? I think that at this stage, that's a pretty um, good way to do it with the little buttons. I mm -hmm. think in the future, though, it won't be us pressing a button. I think it's going to be like the machine deciding. Mm -hmm. Again, probably based on our preferences. It'll probably know if I have like sensitive skin, it should order me a sensitive um, detergent. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'll care what brand. I think it'll just be the best detergent for right. me. So what are the key criteria or key evaluation points that you think that the robot should look out for us as consumers? I think it's it, I think it varies person mm -hmm. to person. I think that there will be a learning curve initially mm -hmm. um, where we will kind of get things that don't necessarily align with yep. what we want or what we desire, but I think based on our feedback, eventually the technology will get good enough that it'll yeah. know us all individually. Well, I just want my robot to know that I want three-ply toilet paper, not one. I'll pay for quality. So we'll see if <laughs> that learning curve is steep or gentle. <laughs> but let us know what you think. Uh, tweet us at TradeUpOTN. Um, how will purchasing robots change our consuming behavior?